move on to our next guest now. By the way, the markets have uh, fallen to the lowest point of trade. 57.68 is where the index is. Sushil Kedia, who tracks the technicals very closely at CIMB, joins in to talk about that. Hi, Sushil. Good morning. Uh, you have been of a bearish bent of mind for a while. But uh, purely for the immediate term, at what point would you advise taking a fresh short position on the index? And what is the next level to watch below this 57.50 zone? See, today morning as uh, we open a gap down and we have come under 58.30 on the futures, a lot of people will begin talking through the day. Uh, by the evening, you'll hear this uh, from a lot many more mouths that Nifty has cracked under head and shoulders. I'm not sure if it is necessary head and shoulder, but it is increasingly getting bearish. Uh, I would say if either a recoil back comes for some reason closer to 58.80 area, that's where it makes sense to increase your shorts or if from the current moment again nifty goes below 5800 maybe then you add on to more shots just pyramiding your profits uh, trading is a business not a lottery you don't bet the ranch on any given day so you know the markets will keep on oscillating <coughs> up and down but from here i think the next realistic level of support is slightly under 5500 from where a rebound back to 58 may be possible or maybe 5750 but eventually i continue to look at 4500 Okay. Uh, hi, Sushil. So, how would the bank Nifty hi. move? Uh, do you expect it to underperform the Nifty? I think when we last spoke, you said it may not underperform the Nifty. On the contrary, you said. Yeah, the, purely in terms of outperformance, underperformance, bank Nifty will be an outperformer. Such kind of computations are more meaningful for long only large portfolio managers who cannot hold more than a certain amount of cash. Banks have already been punished a lot more. Uh, you know, the new slow will always trail what is coming into the future. And, and perhaps by that, this sounds counterintuitive, but they've already fallen so much. And a ratio chart of CNX Bank to the Nifty Index has a lot of indications by which during this fall to 4,500, the rallies in banks will be much bigger than the rest of the market. And eventually the lower lows that Bank Nifty will also form are not going to be as much damaging as the other stocks on Nifty. Okay, so if you had to give us some uh, heavyweight stocks that will lead the market on the downside, uh, one, two, three, four stocks, w what uh, forms the top of your list? See, of the top 10 stocks, uh, you know, the Nifty really can't keep on falling so much without those. Of the top 10 stocks, you know, HDFC, HDFC Bank, ICICI and SVI are the four financials in that order of market cap. I think these four will not fall as much as the others, which is Infosys, TCS, Reliance, ONGC, uh, ITC and Lever. I think, you know, even Bharti, though not in the top 10 list, I think uh, has a much deeper fall. So different times, you know, you wear different hats, <laughs> but that's, that's a game uh, much more for uh, long only fund managers. If your channel is being watched much more by traders, then I would say for the very short run, I'm not looking to short sell DLF. I'm not going to short sell JP Associates. I'm not going to short sell Jindal Steel and Power. These are the only three places for the next 10-15 days where there may be few morsels still left for somebody who is a die-hard bull and has to find a bullish trade. There is no confirmation yet on all these three names. Maybe in the next couple of days there will be a small buy trade in them. And DLF, subject all to confirmation after 2-3 days, may swing up by 30%. But you know these are smaller stocks in the Nifty, the broad trend not just in India. But I'm right now watching every key market in the world and I'm ready for a massive gloom to come ahead over the next one, one and a half years. Oh God, uh, uh, Sushil, that's a dire warning. Thank you very much for joining us and introducing a reality touch into markets that were running away. But. Uh